What's going on guys? Today I'm gonna be remaking my yellow foot tortoise enclosure. So this is how it's set up right now. Godzilla's there temporarily because I'm gonna be setting him up in a new uh, tanks away from the other turtles. But anyways, this is what it looks like now. As you can see, it's a little bit dirty on the floor. And by dirt, I mean like, you know, actual dirt. I wanna put uh, mulch, clean up some of these rocks because all the rocks come out of the ground uh, as it rains and stuff. So we wanna take them all out. And we want to take apart that hide back there and fix this up, make it a little bit easier for us to walk through there, probably throw this away and pretty much just make it a little bit nicer. They have a water bowl that I made a while ago, a little pond back there. And there it is. You can see it's covered in mud. I tried to cover it up, but since there's concrete in the bottom, it just gets all nasty because of the, the rain. So what we're going to do is we're going to break it apart so that the water is able to drain through it. And we're going to set up a new little bowl for them. Okay, so I want to take these out right here because they're just hitting my head whenever I want to walk back there. The good thing is, it's not going to go to waste. I'll just feed it to these guys. Give these to the Eldab or the Zucatas. They've been very friendly when I first got them. If you guys saw the video, especially the one right there was a lot more skittish than she is now. Uh, if you see, look, let me, let me show you. If I pet him, what happens? Now that he was eating, he's a little bit slower, but normally he would do this a lot faster when I come out here and pet him. Sometimes he'll do it without me even having to touch him. If I just get near him, he'll take his head out because he wants me to pet him like this. Yeah, these guys are doing amazing and they're becoming super friendly and they're growing as well. They're getting big. So this one was the one that was scared of me not too long ago. Now she'll even walk up to me. She's not as friendly as him, whereas you saw that, he, look, he's still sticking him, he's still sticking his head out. She isn't too much like that. She'll let me pet her and stuff, but I gotta work a little bit harder to get her to stand up like that. He's in petting mode right now. <laughs> He'll figure it out. I already fed them some Missouri earlier today, but they like the cactus, so it's a little treat for them. All right, so we want to take out this trash here. Let's throw this over there. Right there for now. And I'm just going to cut all the plants to make it easier to move around. I want to take this piece of rebar out of the ground. I kind of bent it. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. So we're going to have to cut this big branch right here. We'll just leave these in here until the tortoises clear off all the leaves and then we'll throw away the branches. And we want to get rid of these. These we'll just throw away. I'm going to leave the ones up here. I think it's a nice little shade. Yeah. Okay, so this is the old hide that I built for my redfoot tortoises a few years ago. And it's too big for the yellow foot, so they don't really use it too much. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to cut it down this way. I, originally, I was going to take out the whole thing and make new hides for them. And this is already built pretty nicely. You know, I really like how I had this set up. So I think the best thing is to just cut it and use half of the hide instead of the full one. Because the full one takes up too much space. Alright, so we just use the circular saw to cut down this whole thing now all i gotta do is unscrew that and probably unscrew another a few other things and we're done we're raking all this up now so you can see my little buddies right here helping me out and we're gonna rake up the whole enclosure and put mulch and i already took out the big hide or half of the big hide and we're gonna throw this away so we're starting to rake this side now and i'm gonna begin tearing that apart there so we're picking up all the trash now we've already taken out most of the pond we found some worms. Hold on, let me clean the lens. We found some earthworms. We're gonna feed them to the box turtle. He's already eating one over there. Good. He still has one in his mouth and he just goes for the other one. Where's the next? Where's the other? Oh, I see it. Well, I guess we'll just let him be and keep working. All right, here we go. I found a better one. So let's feed it to him. Here you go. Still has one hanging out his mouth. 
He doesn't like it because I'm holding it. Just throw it over there and look. <laughs> Dude, why is he so bad when we record him? At first he was doing like going yeah. crazy and devouring them in a second. No, he can't even bite it. So we ended up getting distracted by the box turtle and forgot to record the mulch, but we ended up putting mulch all over the enclosure, except the hide. The box turtle I've never shown you guys before. I never showed you the red foot either, but I have a bunch of red foots, so I'm not gonna show you every single red foot that I get. But the box turtle is actually a new uh, species that I keep. I have had box turtles in the past, but I think I've only ended up ever having one other one and I gave it to Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch. This one, I'm gonna. I decided to keep. My friend gave me this one, and he's pretty cool. He lives here with the Yellowfoots. Uh, the Yellowfoots don't seem to mind him at all. He's they. The Yellowfoots are honestly super great tortoises. They don't. They don't mess with the smaller tortoises at all. Um, but he is gonna. The Redfoot is gonna be going to his new home on Tuesday. He was already sold. I'm definitely gonna miss this guy because he's pretty cool. But I definitely want to want him to go into a better enclosure. This enclosure is great. But I think it's better if he's either by himself or with tortoises that are more similar to his size. Uh, the box turtle, I'm sure he could handle himself. He used to live with alligators in an alligator pool until I got him. But uh, yeah, these these guys are dope. They, they always come out here when they hear me and they just sit by my feet like this. Pretty much like every other one of my tortoises. And yeah, the hide is looking pretty nice. The big male always goes there regardless of whether or not the mud pit is there. And this is the other male, I believe. I'm pretty sure these are my two males here. Um, I used to have eight yellow foots, but I ended up selling uh, a pair of them. So I sold one male, one female, and I'm pretty sure that my other one ended up climbing this thing and getting out under the gate so i this gate now i fixed it a little bit but what happens is the sulcatas the this uh little thing here sometimes they'll jump it or it'll get knocked down and they'll just walk right through this they'll destroy this thing with no effort they'll just walk through bend this metal i mean it's been bent so many times that it's already pretty weak as you can see but i put this here to make it a little bit harder for them to dig under at least and I kind of want to raise this a little bit more. But I'm pretty sure one of the yellow foots climbed over this and just walked right on out. And if you could see right there, there's a big green iguana chilling right there. These guys are coming to my pond and pooping in it. So I'm going to have to change out this water. Uh, the water's not too bad. It's murky, but it's not dirty. Um, I know to you guys it probably looks the same dirty and murky like this but there's a difference when it gets even more dirty it just turns into like a, a darker color right now it's not too bad and it's mostly just because of like the food and the the log and stuff but i need to change it in a few days to a week probably um what i don't like to see is that this uh leaves poop and things along the edge so that's why i want to change the water and i want to try and fix this pond a little bit more i try to go get some plants so that i could put on the surface but i unfortunately wasn't able to find any i've already gone a few times to try and get some and i've never gotten lucky to find um other than the times that uh i wasn't trying I, I wasn't ready to get them but anyways what i was saying about the iguanas the iguanas are cool but obviously they're not as cool to see here because they're invasive here in florida and we see them everywhere but i guess since i have all the animals outside other reptiles are actually more interested in coming to my house um, obviously other than the green iguanas and the agamas which are other invasive lizards here there's actually an agama that, that hangs out here all day he poops on the window there and uh, this is my room I always hear him banging the window because I guess bugs go to the window and he jumps from up there and hits the window and I just hear bang 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 all day when he's hunting uh, but actually today I don't see any agamas usually you can see them like running around the floor and stuff but maybe it's because of the iguana I don't know maybe the iguanas were messing with them and they left but they usually hang out around here and I'm able to even see them uh, basking on top of the tortoises but anyways the agamas and the iguanas are cool to see as well although to be honest they're more of a nuisance than anything because the iguanas poop on the on, in the ponds and stuff and the agamas poop all here and they're making noise all the time but it doesn't really bother me too much uh but i have found some pretty cool animals as well that just showed up to my house 
I found a baby red eared slider once by my front door and I found a red foot tortoise uh, right here in front of this gate a little bit to the left and I actually found a gopher tortoise which it was a little bit less surprising because they're native here but it was surprising because I never seen them in my area before uh, and he was just inside of my backyard in this area chasing around Tank. Tank was chasing Luna and the little baby gopher, not baby but he was like this big like a Russian tortoise size, it wasn't a big gopher tortoise. He was just chasing a huge sulcata uh, running around my yard. But anyways, this is how the enclosure is looking now. I didn't put mulch in this area, although I will soon. Uh, Godzilla, I gotta dump his water again because I would like to keep that brick dry so that he's able to get out. But um, he's in here because I actually used to keep him with my Indian spotted turtles, which are these guys right here. They had actually been biting Godzilla and I was kind of worried that they were going to kill him. As you can see, they even took a chunk off, off of his tail there and now I got to separate him. I've been keeping him indoors for a while, but I decided to bring him back outside because I feel like that's just better. I just kept him indoors while I healed him because he did have uh, his skin a little bit torn up. It was not too bad, but I was honestly a little bit scared that he was going to die just because his color was off. He looked pale. Uh, compared to normal but other than being pale and his skin looking like he was going through shed uh he was fine it was it really looked just looked like a really bad shed uh but that that little bite on the tail the tail being ripped off makes me think that it was the indian spotted turtles i might be wrong and maybe it was just something something else that I don't, i'm not sure about but uh he he did recover perfectly i added or i i'm gonna show you what i used to treat him now but uh he's doing good he's not too too aggressive uh for being this big i don't handle him too much but i did notice that after the treatment he did get aggressive he used to be super friendly and i was able to even pet his head and stuff but now uh he's a little bit more spooked so this is what i used to heal him up this is what i used to clean any wounds or anything that any of the animals might have unless it's somewhere more sensitive like eyes or the mouth or something like that um but this works great, it heals them up pretty good. It just keeps it clean and helps it heal properly. I was actually keeping him in here for a while. The tank's already dried up because I'm not using it at the moment. Uh, but he was chilling in here. He was, it was awesome to keep him in here because he was always in the glass asking for food and I got to see him a lot. But I prefer to keep my animals outdoors. They just do a lot better and I don't have to worry about keeping extra lighting indoors. But yeah, I really like how this enclosure came out. And I also added this guy right here. He used to be in the kitchen. My mom was gonna throw him out and I decided to put him in here uh, for no good reason. He's just cool. Um, but this is much nicer area now. I could walk in here. It's not so crowded where this whole area up to that corner of that brick right there would have normally been covered and I wouldn't be able to walk in here. Now it's a lot more accessible for me. Uh, I don't even keep the pond here now, so it doesn't really matter other than just to walk in here and check out the tortoises, which I normally just did by walking there. I gave up coming through here, and what I would do is I would either go that way or through the bushes here to see these guys because there was way too many plants here. And I used to have a bunch of cactus here, and the redfoots completely devoured all of them. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. Uh, leave some comments. Subscribe and have a great day.